Say morning. Morning. And what's the first day? Saturday. No, and what's the, it's the first day of the school summer school. holiday. Holidays. Yeah. Me and Alice are having breakfast together, aren't we? Where's Violet? In bed. And what's the time? Nine o'clock. Uh, no, it's 25 to nine. Is she lazy? Yeah. It is having breakfast. Mm. So yeah, excuse my um, new zit that occurred overnight. It's a bit hideous. Um, it is Thursday and yes, the first day of the summer holidays. The weather looks okay. It's supposed to rain, like a percentage of rain this afternoon. Um, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Alice has said about staying in. Do you wanna stay home? I was thinking we could go... No. I think we're going to cinema with Daddy tomorrow. We're gonna watch Minions tomorrow. Yeah? With Daddy. We could, Alistair, you want to go crabbing? Yeah. Yeah? I love crabbing. Okay, we could go crabbing. It's cold. It's kind of the weather for it because it's not too hot. Because um, crabs like water. We do. And we've got, your, you've got a crabbing bucket, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting for, obviously, a little madam to get up. It shows how long she can actually sleep for, though. And how much sleep she's missing out on when we have to get up at seven because she loves her sleep so much and it's still like you know it's not far off nine o'clock and she's still asleep so bless her right the little monkey is up it's about 10 to 9 i think just having her breakfast i've just tidied rooms up we just need to do violets i've already got alistair's clothes out and i think i'm going to pack a picnic today um muddy food don't they don't really have the greatest of cafes are quite small and it's obviously peak season right now so it's going to be busy and I'd rather not get them a bowl of chips you know so <laughs> um and spend a fortune so I think I'm just going to pack a picnic with us and hopefully the weather holds out so we can have it today it looks okay though it looks actually really really quite okay it just looks a little bit gray a little bit crowd cloudy so look I did this first okay Oh, it's like that, is it? Oh, cool. You look cute. Okay, we're pretty much all ready to go and set. Um, I've just packed, I'm just going to pack lunch. I need to get um, some ice packs out. But we've got sandwiches, a whole load. There's like half a watermelon. Look how red it looks. It looks delicious. Um, I've done two lots of hula hoops for them. And then two of these like, what they call like OT bar thingies. I don't know. Um, and then water. So that's pretty much lunch. Um, for today while we're out and knowing me I'll probably get myself a coffee as well because it's probably going to be a bit windy down there it's like 5 to 10 um, the kids are already outside and I think I'm just going to load up the car now are we ready to go? yeah Alistair just put his shoes on and a hug yeah, we're all ready to go I'm just waiting for Alistair so I can pick up the stuff <laughs> I'm basically using I the I like you computer um, like you cool bag as like my handbag just I need a little bit of change just for um oh can't forget buckets okay gotta bring buckets because we don't want to be buying them again because we've got tons of buckets <laughs> we um recently got an orphan calf because her mum's really really sick so um we're fe bottle feeding her we've called her fudge because she's chocolate brown and she's so cute so i'll quickly show you her she's been feeding loads hello fudge hello Gorgeous girl. Yes. Mm. My mum's sick. Yeah, mum's poorly, poorly, poorly. She's like just food, Marie. She's been having two mm. massive bottles every single time she um she wants to be feeds big. every three hours. So we've been on feeding mission, but Graham's here today. So I was feeding her yesterday. Um, he's gorgeous. Hello. Are you? Beautiful girl. Mm. <laughs> she's like what is that <laughs> she's only like three days old or maybe four now it's amazing how sturdy they are <laughs> we arrived at muddyford quay and yeah we finally got here it's a bit traffic -y, but you know what the car park is pretty empty which is really really good there's a lot of people around here though i suppose because it's just 
you know, some holidays. But yeah, we're going to um, pay and display quick the and then go to the shop to get some stuff. Beautiful. Kids have got their, they've got their nets. <laughs> we need to get some water and we can do a bit of crabbing. Nice crab. It's a big one. Isn't it? Look how big it is. Can we just throw it in again? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ali got one. Ah! Right, you want to pick it up, bye? No. no, no, no. I will. Okay, Alistair will. Come on then. Some brave. That means we've got how many? Three, four. Yeah. Ouch, ouch. Okay, so. Oh. Okay. From the back. From the back. He's clinging on. <laughs> hey, hey. Crabs. Uh-huh. What's well, trying to get up? What's trying to get out? Hey, hey. Oh, crap. There's one here. Come then, grab him. Seven. I can't get it. You, look, this one looks like, whoa, this one looks giant. I'll get them all. They loved yours, didn't they, Vi? Yeah, four in one. Oh. I think that's our biggest one. Nice. Yeah, he has bigger claws. Let's put him back in, yeah? Put him here. Yeah. Wow! He pinched me. <laughs> just come to like the beach bit of Muddyford and it's so nice it's a little bit windy but it's really warm it's actually quite busy we're gonna have our lunch here I forgot my rug though typical um, Alistair's already venturing out into the sea Miley look at the pretty houses what are you collecting? Houses. I love the pastel. Alistair threw his board, so I had to save it with a net. 
It's okay. We saved it, didn't we? <laughs> so, yeah. No crabs. I think I got one. We've got two tiny ones so far. Wow, that one. Oh, it's really tiny, isn't it? Right, say goodbye, crabs. Goodbye, crabs. We are officially knackered and really antsy. The kids have been not. whining. You liar, you've been whining. I think they're tired. Um, it's 20 to 3, so we've had a full, like, no, over four I'm hours not here. Tired. And it was a long day. We're gonna head home, okay? <laughs> yeah, let's head home. And hopefully, day. these two will have a little power nap. Right, we are home. We've been home for a few minutes. I've, like, emptied and loaded the dishwasher and just sorted, you know, the stuff out, picnic stuff. Not bad for a cheap day out. It's spent about £10.50, £10.90, £10.90, because it was £5.50 for parking and then it was like £5.40, I think, for um, hot chocolate for me and two ice creams. So not bad. Could have been worse, definitely, if we would have had to buy food, etc. But yeah, it was a really good day. It's, the kids were so, so good. No, no bickering, really, apart from near the end, obviously. So getting tired. They both had a little power nap in the car. So yeah, I feel like a glass of wine, but I'm not sure if it's too early for a glass of wine. It's not even four o'clock yet, so I might try and hold out. <sighs> yeah, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Day one of the summer holidays, and I'm shattered already. The kids, um, they had a late night last night. Well, later than usual. They went to bed about nine o'clock, which is late for them. So yeah, it felt like the day drags on yesterday from picking Alistair up at one o'clock. I think I might have to feed fudge. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get hold of Graham. Excuse my bare face. I've just taken makeup off just to let my spotty skin, like, get some air. <laughs> um, I'm just about to feed fudge. I've got her some milk. Hey, pups. Ooh. What are you doing? You love the milk. He, like, licks her face. It's so cute. You love fudge, don't you? Chewy. Chewy's like, wake up, wake up. You've got to have your milk. Come on. Oh, she lovely. Oh, who is it, Chew? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Got it? You helping? <laughs> Chewy. <laughs> it's it's always having a go now. Leftovers. <laughs> Dribbling out of her mouth. She's going to clean you up because you made a terrible mess. <laughs> Look at them both. Messy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Pixel, you want some too? Can you see the pigs too? Here. Yeah. See the piggies. Yeah. Hey, pigs. <laughs> Hello. I'm oh, sorry. I Boy. This is our uh, tomatoes that I said that was dying and now look at it. I planted it in this pot and it is like blossoming now with tomatoes. It's amazing. Give it, give it. And I planted some in an old small fish tank. Um, and they're growing really well as well. Hopefully they'll flower soon. Lots of tomatoes like growing up. There's my uh, trainee pool cleaner. Okay, I couldn't wait any longer. Uh, Graham's got a bit of a dodgy tummy today. I don't know why, he just says he hasn't been feeling that great. And I was going to do tacos for dinner, but he was like, I really don't think I'm going to eat it. So I said, I might as well do jacket potatoes instead, something a bit more bland, um, you know, a bit more starchy and heavy. So that is the plan for dinner, and I'm going to use baked beans um, and some cheese just for extra flavour. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we're going to have for dinner. Something quite simple. I've put the jacket potatoes in the oven um, just a minute ago. Graham should be back soon, although he has got so many burgers and so much on stuff to make on order. So I think he is going to have a busy night, which is frustrating because it's like 10 to 5 already. But I think he's going to come back for dinner and then go back out. Alistair's in the pool. These lounges are like perfect. I am going to put water here to make hot. 
chocolate. You always make hot chocolate. Why don't you make like a chocolate fudge cake or something? I can't do that. I don't have any fudge. Oh, watch this. Ta -da! I'm going to do some camping with the kids next week. I think it'd be fun because we've got the tents. I think I've moved them Mommy, probably like around Dad here. Is, Dad. is it? Okay. And um, ready see how they camping. feel about Kate camping. We're glamping day. next week in a week's time. Yeah, so we're glamping and we've done that loads of times over the years. Um, but I've never actually. No, I have taken the kids actually proper camping. They probably don't remember, but but Alistair was probably about three and Violet was only about nine ten, about ten months I think and that was an experience that was quite it's quite good it was amazing weather we were in the Isle of Wight um, but but since then we've done just glamping we haven't used our tent since then basically which is a long time it's a shame really because we have got a really nice big tent it's got like two rooms you can stand up in it and it's you know we've got all the equipment but we tend to I don't know um, I suppose because this is like we don't get holidays together very often and sometimes we want the outdoors experience but we want a bit of luxury with it and I think sometimes with glamping like we stay in a safari tent they are so nice they are just you know you've got a luxury of still having a bed <laughs> um, and being comfortable and having a little bit of electricity you don't have telly or anything but you have got electricity for like um, uh, you've got like a little electric hob and, and you get a fridge and you know just the basics basically which is just needed if you're you know if you, you're not necessarily going to be going on any other holiday like we don't so um, yeah we are we are doing clamping next week um, on the Isle of Wight which I'm really excited about that's only three nights though um, that should be good I just hope the weather clears up I mean the weather's been okay but I just want it to just be a bit more warmer <laughs> just be a bit more warmer please hot chocolate it's hot chocolate I put it's the like a uh, chocolate milkshake to me yeah it is oh, is that your baby in the sandpit as well huh? your baby's playing in the sandpit she's not doing nothing no oh. not doing anything oh is that the sprinkles oh delicious Mm. Banana pillow. Is it comfortable? Is it? Your neck looks a bit crooked. <laughs> Presto, jack potato, beans and cheese. Very simple potato yet delicious dinner. Beans. Easy to please my husband, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy forgot I ordered a something from ASOS. What do you think it is? Wanna guess? A camera. No. A paper. No. <gasps> this was reduced really like ridiculously. I think it was like 60 or 70% off. So this is a yeah, this Whistles is. leather clutch bag in navy. Although it's a lot more like light blue than I thought it was going to be. The picture hey, looked a lot mom, darker. Mom. This was reduced from like 88 mom, pounds mom, to mom. about 34 mom. I got it for. Um, it's one thing I really don't have is a um, any sort of blue clutches. I have like I have like a miniature blue one and I have a black clutch. I'm gonna get it. I think that's it. I don't really have many bags, you know, like small bags for going like evening wise. And I saw this so reduced. Um, I thought, oh. although I'm not as excited about it in real life. It looks so much better like online. I think it might be the chain, but I think if you tuck it in, I could use it I suppose, but. I don't know, I think maybe the che it cheapens it a bit, maybe. There we go, 85, and I got it for 34 pounds. 85 is a bit of a rip off, I think. It doesn't look that expensive. Okay, six o'clock, and I've tidied the kitchen. I need to fold up some washing, put away Alice's school uniform for like six weeks, yeah. So, Graham's gone back out to work. The kids are watching Ice Age very peacefully. It's half past six. I have a dream dot on my face if you're wondering what I've got, like a plaster. I think you all drinks me last week because last week everyone was saying, oh my god, your skin looks so good, Claire. And then this week I'm like, blah, breaking out. But I'm really hormonal and I think that's probably why. But the dream dots, I have got a review on them. I've been using them for probably about a year, year and a half. It's basically like really, really sticky plaster that goes over your spot and it just protects it from like germs. 
Um, it, it's only for like those really naughty, horrible spots, not for like any sort of tiny spots. So I don't use them that often. Um, so yeah, that's what's <laughs> that's on my face. It's a big plaster basically. Um, but yeah, Graham's gone back to work. Um, it's half past six and I'm just not really doing much to be honest. I'm just faffing. I just, I don't know, sometimes I find it really hard to relax. I just need to sit down. I think I'm just going to sit down with the kids and finish watching um, Ice Age before they go to bed. And then I'll probably start editing this vlog at some point and maybe do a blog post or something. Um, yeah, I'm not really doing much else actually. Slightly boring, but I like to just chill out obviously in the evening, seeing as we have been pretty manic today. It's been very busy and quite intense. And when Graham said he's got to go back out to work, I was like, oh, really? Can't you just stay home? He's like, you know, I want to stay home. I just can't. I've just got so much on. It's just tiring. I'm just really tired. One good thing though, although I suppose I still have to get up, but I was going to say one good thing is that we have no school run tomorrow. But Violet is at nursery tomorrow, so I've got quality time with Alistair tomorrow. So I think actually I might go online and see if I can find a kiddies, um, like cheap cinema to watch in the morning, go watch a film. So yeah, I might have a look at that now. Abby's home, yay! Ooh, you always come bearing yeah. treats. It's bad. Jimmy, Jimmy, he's a good boy. We got nothing. Doing the kiddies some milk for bed. Come on, kiddies! Time to come in, little animals. <laughs> the film on. They just want to be outside. I've just been sat there watching it on my own. 